All right, welcome back, everyone. We are so excited this morning to be talking with the director of the Northern Michigan University Orchestra. We have Dr. Barbara Rainier here with us. So you wear a couple of hats over there oh, at the university. Couple, sure. Yeah, yeah. So um, you're a professor of music, and of course, you also are the director conductor of the orchestra. So um, as we talk about the concert tonight, we're going to really dive into that this morning. Um, but before we go there, let's talk about the program in itself. Um, and strings and orchestra and what you all have there at the university. Wow, I, we could spend an hour <laughs> just talking about that. Um, I'm really impressed with the program at Northern Michigan University. Uh, first of all, the university has so many different programs it offers um, at being a regional comprehensive university. And even in just the music uh, aspect of things, we have a music education degree, a secondary education, we have a music minor, and you can just come and be a music major, have a secondary emphasis if you like, and just study music. So it's a really good place to maybe try on your wings, see if you it's something you want to do, uh, take a theory class, mm. um, take music history, um, take lessons. There's a lot of studying going on and a lot of different things you can participate. Sure. In, in which you can participate. We have uh, the NMU Orchestra, we have um, the marching band, the wind band, wind ensemble, uh, there's choir, um, like jazz band, um, there's theater, I mean, there's just a ton of different yeah. things. And Thank even you. if you're not majoring in music, we have a lot of participation from other uh, folks in the university, even um, I have community members that participate in the orchestra as well. So there's a lot going on. Uh, we. We're busy every day doing different things. The music education ma majors are busy, you know, getting ready for their degree, taking courses in education. Mm -hmm. um, they, at the, at the end of their degree, degree, they go out and they student teach. Uh, so there's, it's a quite a busy degree. Yeah, but no kidding. You, you go into music education, which is our main degree, if you love music, and definitely the students are all there really enjoying themselves and working very hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I think yeah. it's really cool too that you get to be in the classroom but also have that real orchestra experience for these students. Yeah. You know, what's rewarding about having those um, two experiences? For me? Yeah, of course. I think that for me it's building relationships with the students. They come in their first year and right now I'm teaching a music liter literature course. And I get to know them on that level, you know, as a student uh, teacher relationship. And then they come into lessons and I get to know them a little bit more personally and how they how their brains work, how they practice. And then in the orchestra, I, I get to see them play and be expressive and respond to um, instructions and philosophy with regard to music interpretation and things like that. So I feel like I, you really get to know the students. Mm. Um, the relationships are very close at the university and in the in the classroom, so I feel really privileged to get to see that many facets. That's a good yeah. question. Yeah, of the yeah. Each, each of the students. Yeah. So what makes up the orchestra? You know, uh, if someone's never been to a concert, maybe they've never heard your sound. Okay. What can they expect from from your group? That's a long. That's a long I, again, I'm asking you big questions. <laughs> that's a huge Twenty question. seconds or less. Go. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, do you want the uh, five minute answer? <laughs> so an orchestra. The orchestra it, that we have right now is based on a very old, um, an old genre which was sort of born out of like Bach and um, Mozart where you have a lot of string players and then you have a few added wind players like clarinets and mm -hmm. trumpets and you know some percussion, a timpani in the back and the orchestra grew and grew and grew until now you go to uh, let's say you hear some Hans Zimmer, you go to the movies, you hear this big orchestral yeah. sound because it's added all these extra instruments, a lot of percussion, gong, cymbals, you know, something we call the contrabassoon, which we're, we have on our concert. Awesome. <laughs> um, and it's, it, the palette becomes very, very large. So we have a lot of different sounds. So the modern orchestra actually has a lot of different, uh, different of these sounds. Our orchestra definitely covers all of those. Um, they'll hear a lot of strings, they'll hear a lot of woodwinds, they'll hear brass, and they're going to hear a, a few different styles of music. Mm. So they'll hear an old style by Mozart, which just has a few strings and clarinets and bassoon. Uh, they'll hear more modern style with Ernest Bloch, and you're going to talk to Adam Hall, a soloist. Yes, yes. Um, where you hear a lot of lush, you know, harmonies. Um, you'll hear some more modern scores, uh, like Aliso Vegas, uh, where you have a lot of different percussion 
and just a big, you know, strong sound. Yeah. Just you have to you have to go there. Words go. do it's not true. describe. It's, it's so true. Words do not describe the orchestra sound. It's an experience. Absolutely. I remember yeah. my first time going. It was very emotional, <laughs> um, and a lot of people don't realize that when you're sitting there, it can be seriously an emotional experience. Yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. On a conductor stand, you know what what does that look like for you when you're thinking about you know adapting to each scenario as you're playing? Is what's going through your head? I think we what happens is we actually have an allegiance uh, to the composer. So when we look at the page, the composer's job is to come up with a vision and actually represent it on a piece of paper as instructions, sort of like an architect, you know, mm. lays out a blueprint and then he hands it over and then he goes, well, I hope that works. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 And so the composer gives that to the conductor and then we go, okay, I need to, you know, make sure this group is playing in this way and this group is following their part and you sort of sculpt what's happening, but ultimately it should all be there in the part and then you just bring it out, rehearse it, you know, bring some levels up, maybe do, help t the orchestra tune if they can't hear if something's quite yeah. in tune. I would imagine yeah. though each, comp each director has their own kind of interpretation of the piece. Yeah. Right, like the, sure. you don't go from one to the next and have it be exactly the same. Like you're adding your own kind of flair and vibe to it. I do. To a, some degree. To some degree and this was, this started happening in the late uh, 20th century with and mid 20th century with some conductors it used to be conductors were just there to beat time yeah and then conductors started you know like von Karajan and then Bernstein they became celebrities mm. because they were um, given sort of status as interpreting the music which I think is we're, we're just we're doing nothing <laughs> that's what I think <laughs> you know everybody thinks like we're doing all this stuff and yeah we do study the score but it's the musicians mm. yeah. They're the ones that are making the music. Yeah. Yeah, we're just doing a dance. I'd hate to say that, you know, but it, yes, we're supposed to come up with a vision and a lot of stuff goes through in rehearsal, but they're the ones that make, are making the music. All right, yeah, so you're a dance. modest gal. I got it. I like, I got it. I like okay, it. Let's keep I like that in, in, in our brains for the day. So we like want to bring in one of your first soloists, though. Uh, we're talking to two this morning, plus uh, one of the composers of one of the pieces. So as I said, it's a very full, very neat show, but we have to take another break. Okay. Um, I think what you do is amazing, and you should give yourself a little more credit, but we'll that. talk about that in the break. We'll be right back. <laughs>